it's recommended to configure a username and a password for logging into a router or a switch for better accountability. Let's configure that now. So let's go back to our config mode and we'll type in username admin. That will be our username, password, and the password that we'll use for admin will be Cisco123. Now we need to enable user login access under the BTY interface. So we'll type in login local. Next, we need to allow both Telnet and SSH access to this device. So we'll type in transport input, we'll do question mark here. And these are the potential protocols that we can use for connecting into this device. More commonly, we see Telnet and SSH. So we can include both of them or one of these for which ones can be allowed. So we'll type in Telnet and then also SSH access. Once we configure a username and a password on R1, Let's confirm and show you how this works. We would do this by going to R2 and telnetting directly into R1. But in order for us to do that, we need to configure the interface between R1 and R2 and then confirm that it is working. First, let's go to the serial zero interface on R1 and configure the IP address and subnet mask reflected in our network diagram. So that would be IP address of 10.1.2.1 and the subnet mask for a slash 29. Next we do a no shutdown to initialize the interface. Then we will exit out of the config mode. Next let's go to R2 and configure that serial interface. So that will be IP address of 10.1.2.2 with the appropriate mask. Let's do a no shutdown then let's exit the config. So momentarily though, we see interfaces coming up on both of our routers here. Next, let's confirm if the serial interface on R1 is in a up up state. So we'll type in show IP interface brief and we see our interface of serial 0 slash 0 that is configured with the IP address of 10.1.2.1 that we did earlier. And it matches what we have defined in our network diagram. And we do see that the status and the protocol states are in an up up state. So now, once that has been confirmed, we can see if there is connectivity between R1 and R2 by doing a ping test. So we'll type in ping followed by the IP address of our R2 router, which is 10.1.2.2 that is configured. And we do have connectivity. Let's do a ping test on R2 to confirm if it can reach R1. So we'll type in ping, followed by the IP address that we configured for R1, which is 10.1.2.1. And we also have success. So we have confirmed that connectivity between R1 and R2 is successful. So now let's do a telnet test to R1 from R2. So we'll type in telnet, followed by the IP address of 10.1.2.1 used by R1. Let's log on with our appropriate username and our password. So now we're logged on. We see the user mode prompt for R1. Let's type in enable to get to the privilege mode. Let's input our enable password. And now we're logged in. We see the privilege mode prompt with the pound symbol at the end. So now let's exit out. So we have confirmed that we can tone it into R1 using the username and the password that we configured earlier.